All right, welcome back to Thea the Awakening. So, sorry, last few episodes I was a bit uh, knackered and wasn't thinking very well, I think. But uh, I was looking again at my goals for this episode. And we want to go up to the Goblin Village and then from there up and do the Divine Quest. But to do that, I think I want to have a go... I want to go ahead and have a party of 12 people. I think if, if it's over 12, I still only get 12 cards per turn, so it may not be... It may be diminishing returns at that point. But that means I want to get somebody here in my village ready to go up there. And I think I'm going to take... Uh, who is it? The, okay, so crafting... 9 craft, 16 craft, 14 craft, you, let's take a look at our crafting here, none, just show me who's got crafting, okay, 9, 6, 14, 18, really, that's interesting that you have such low craft. Whoa, what? Okay, that was weird. 18, 14, 16, 15, 15. Okay. Okay. That was weird. Um, yeah, that was totally weird. So you have the least crafting ability, even though it's really high. But, uh, I want to see what I can do with you. So, the piercing weapon's nice, but it's not that strong. What else could I possibly give you that might, uh, see, 309. I'd have to take that off, which I think I'm okay with doing. So, this at least makes you, well, yeah, somewhat better. That gives you a lot of shielding that can be used, even though your offense is really poor. And then the rest of you guys are okay. 36. Well, you could wear even more, but that's this is only temporary because you have that uh, less of strength. 46, 46. I'm actually going to switch your weapons around because this one's a little bit lighter. Where is it? There we are. Okay. Give that to you. And then that lets you go ahead and equip that. All right, so Yanina, <clears throat> I'm gonna send you out. All right, unless I could give you the spear. I could, if I do it that way. I could give you the spear. I don't know if that's worth it. You only have 10 hit points, 13 armor, and three decks. I think I'm going to keep you with uh, the sword and shield and just use you as a backup for shielding. So he keeps that. He's got this high because he's got the blessed strength on. All right. So yeah, we're going to do it this way. We don't need quite this much production going on. And uh, again, like I said, I think silk tunic is 4-1. Yeah, everybody's got something on. Everybody's got something going on. How much is that? 28? Unfortunately, that's not going to... Yeah, that has to be 18. Ah, it's too heavy. The glove is too heavy. That's definitely too heavy, isn't it? 94? Maybe not. So that's a 461. That's a 441. Just barely. If I take that off, she can do it. I'm going to. So... Yeah, give everybody every advantage possible. Too heavy, huh? You can wear that. All right, well, there we go. So I'm going to send Yanina out to join the posse. Yanina. Yep. All right. And because you can, I guess, camp, and then you guys camp. That's an interesting little trick I just pulled, isn't it? Um, we're not going to get to 460. 
No. That's too bad. We can grab some clay, though. We're only camping here one, and then we're moving on. All right. That'll do. That's a nice big posse to go take care of the uh, Divine Quest, and I think Astoya will be fine. And uh, what do we need to craft over here, anyway? Let's get some more food. What else can we make with our mm, chicken? Can make some other regular veggie version. Okay. There we go. That's what we're gonna do for one turn at least, and then. You come across what looks like a dried up log, but as you get closer, okay. you see it has eyes and looks up at you. It seems it is trying to speak to you. Okay, listen in. Oh, the sister Mokosh, or her children must have sent you my way. I am nearly turned into ash, but I need your aid. There is a filthy abomination I once called my brother, a bouquet, a supposed guardian spirit gone terribly rogue. I have no more strength to find him and kill him, but you do. If you accept, I will give you all aid I can. Well, it does sound urgent. We'll do it. Thank you. Oh, you nice bless. slowly turning into ashes before your eyes. You feel a warm breeze in the air, and you feel a... Okay. Hey, it's exactly where we need to be going, too. That is, uh... That's nice. I like it when that happens. Can we go there? Yes, we can. And we will, because that'll give us seaweed. And straw. Don't forget about the straw. Oh yeah, we can grab some straw. Who cares? We're not, we're not going to get to 450. Nah. Okay. Alright, well, that'll give us a whole bunch of resources. Do not burn that. Thank you. And back home, we've crafted up all of our food. <coughs> well... Hmm. We should do something with this stuff. Oops. We could make... Oh, <clears throat> well, we're limited to 10, and we're already at 10. What's this one made of? Wood and veggies? Well, let's destroy this pasture. Okay. And a beast attracting smithy. And this one we cannot get up to... Uh, no matter what we do, we cannot get it up to two range. Yeah, it's going to be very hard to do that. It's going to require, like, Mithril or Moonstone or something, you know, extremely good that we do not have access to. We could build another pasture. I think we have enough pastures, don't we? One cabbage field, one pasture. we got two pastures. Yeah. Can we make another pasture of uh, wheat? Oh, that doesn't, of course. I'm an idiot. Be interesting to see what that does. Hmm. Doesn't do much. We could do that. It'll give us even more human attraction. <clears throat> Excuse me. Even more human attraction. 
You know what I'd really rather do? I'd really rather just get some more clay. And, uh, yeah, get that gathered up. In the meantime, this would make a really good bow. Eight range damage, 24 weight. Let's go ahead and try to six. Can we uh, boost its potential here somehow? We could if we use that. That'd give us 11%. 11.5. Seven. Well, let's use our spider silk and try to give ourselves a really excellent whispering bow. Okay. What else can we make in the meantime? Ah, uh, the demon's eye catcher thing. Not really stoked about it. I don't think bones give us nothing. Yeah, it doesn't give us any research at all. Um, yeah, we're out of junk resources, so now it's just a matter of what do we want to make. We could make another staff. Why don't we make some shirts? That's three. That's three. I'm not going to use the malachite for anything, so... Silk tunic it is. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Let's do it. Whoops. All right, next turn. I think we might actually get, uh, if we play our cards right, we might actually be able to get another uh, villager out of this encounter. Seven, seven. All right, let's move here and gather here. Before you is a group of black wolves attacking something. As I'll you investigate. Look, you that the child is clearly Split your party. You send a attack. Auto resolve. Hmm, nice. It's not a bad club. It was not easy, but both cat and child are fine. The cat's eyes shine gold, and you could swear it smiles at you. You feel a surge of positive energy. Yep, so when you rescue the cat, you get plus three animal kinship on someone. Okay, well, we have a child now <laughs> who could potentially grow up in our party while we're out here in the wilderness, because that would be a good idea. And let's just see. Three, can we get somebody up to 360? No. Yeah, that would, that did it. Okay. But we're not going to get you to 180, huh? Well, that's too bad. We don't need the herbs, though. We could get the herbs, or we can get... The exotic fruit. Hmm. Alright, fine. I don't care. Oh, we have a villi already. I wonder if the villi will have anything to say to the bouye. That'd be, f that'd be fun. Alright. Uh, back in the village. All right, you're not going to do it yet. We're going to be fine. Okay. 
While the men slept well this night, some of the women, well, they sleep very, very well. Visited thusly by a bybedder perching by their bedside, the women's dreams are filled with passion and desire, burning their bodies like a red flare. A bybedder. What was that again? I've never seen this event. An old wives' tale talks about the Pazilosnik, known as the bybedder, a fiendishly handsome house demon said to visit the good-hearted young women and lure them onto the path of corruption. In truth, the bybedder is not fussed about the goodness of his betrothed ones, and it is not so much a path of corruption he leads to, it is more a death by passion that fills him with power. Okay, burn some dried cow's droppings to ward it off. Those under the demon's seductive spell will still have to try to free themselves from his clutches, but their fight should now be much easier. Well, let's hope so. Try to free yourself from the bybedder. This is going to be a toughie. Ooh, this is going to be really tough. Okay. Twelve damage is no joke. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. We're going to put you in. <clears throat> Boy. We can confuse that one at least. I think that's a good idea. Let's uh, put you in. And then. Oh, God. I don't know. This looks bad. Thinking maybe shield ally twice. Let's see what we get. What do their tactic cards do? Oh god. Okay, that's really bad. Alright, well, we got a support ally. Maybe she can kill one of them. Okay. Well, you attacked the wrong direction. Man, if I lose villagers to this crap event, I'm going to be pretty pissed. Some of the women managed to get a grip on, well, themselves, and wake from the hypnotic dream before it devoured them. Alas, some remained lost in the infinite pleasures offered by this strange demon. The bodies of those who are unable to wake burn with a deadly flame, and the bybedder engulfs the flames before disappearing. Those who survived, however, feel strangely strengthened by the experience, and a child is found in the village the next day. All right. Well, we only lost this piece of crap unit, so... I actually don't care. It's just that we we are down some people. Um I guess I'll give you that one. And I'll give you this one. Yeah, she was a crappy unit. You're gathering clay. Well, alright, continue to do so. Alright, and then up here. Let's go visit the villies, I guess. Or the bouguet. 
You chase down the rogue Bouquet and find him in the company of some winged women, most likely the wind demonettes, Vili, and several pine conettes of various shapes and sizes, including pine cones, mushrooms, chestnuts, or walking twigs with human-like faces. This strange menagerie is carrying with it some potted plants and young tree saplings. They also have a large wicker basket, with a dark red tinge to it and a metallic smell. The Bouguet, in the form of an older bearded man with twigs for hair and tree bark for skin, speaks up. What do you want from us, fleshy creature? All right. Well, to be frank, your former boss, a rather scary Leshy, asked us to kill you. Oh, nothing. Just your presence and wondering what you're up to. Uh, an old Leshy seemed rather concerned with your sanity and asked us to deal with it. Ah, the old stump sending fleshy minions after us. Ah, as if you could slay us. No need to get on your high horse. We could, but perhaps we can talk instead. We are demons of the forest. And now even stronger, unbound, free. You think you can stand in our way? What do you mean, unbound and free? We have found a way to live free of any forest, to gain power from another life force. You feel a chill run down your spine as all of the demons look at you kind of funny. Now you think about it, the wicker basket is kind of big enough for several humanoids. Uh... Um, another life force, you say? Is this why the Leshy dislikes you so? Yes, you are correct in your fears. We now feed on the flesh and blood of such as yourselves, and this is why the Leshy calls us abominations. But before you get your pitchforks out, we do not need to do this often. A couple of humanoids per year keep us steady. A few more give us extra power. So what's to stop you from killing hundreds to have real power? Sure, we could go on a rampage and gain even more power, but we're just not stupid. Thea is weak and stumbling. We cannot deplete our food source. Look, we're not bloodthirsty fiends. We only take as much as we need, and we try to only go for those we find already weak and dying, or those who attack us first. Okay, now we have a pickle here. You just admitted you eat our kind, so you see, it is kind of hard for us to let that one go. Ah, yes. Perhaps I was too forthcoming. I am not used to talking to you people. Well, we can fight, or you can just leave. How about we make some kind of deal, eh? You swear never to attack our people and sweeten the deal, and we leave you be. Alright, we'll do the social one, since we have a um, blessing of speech. There's the big boogie. Boogie, 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 boogie. Okay. And we're going to handle this one easily. The crows might be able to confuse us, but we might be too high a level as well. We'll see. I just stuck her out there to see if there was a crow that could confuse her. Doesn't look like it. Alright. In y'all go. And no counter tactics. We do have counter tactics. Well, never mind. Can't use it because we're out of moves. Alright, get closer. annoying. Alright, tell you what, let's just go. It's annoying when you get into the, like, having to bounce back and forth when this one has no ability to go out. Kind of wish they'd fix that. Like, just auto-skip or something, or let you redeploy all your cards. <coughs> Alright, we won. Well, you do look yeah. better equipped than we like, and there are a few of you here. I do not like the trouble this will bring. We will leave you one of our pine cornets. She's been keen to leave our company anyway. Doesn't like the blood rituals. Sensitive little fella she is. And we shall throw in some rare wood. We will then move away from your village. But beware, if we meet again, we will face each other. 
All right. So yeah, we can get a pine canet. That's nice. All right. Sounds like a good deal to me. A pine canet steps up in front of you and takes on the form of a toddler-sized humanoid with a pine cone hat, a coat made of oak leaves, and a body that looks wooden. Yay! Thank you. Yay! Take the little thing and leave. Ah, and there they are. So we can go. We can go actually kill them over there if we want. Pine Cornet can't do nothing. It's okay. What's this symbol again? A ghost. Okay. And yeah, you're fine. Who's got something silly? You do. Two one. Two one. They're identical. Okay, you're fine. Yeah. All right. Well, there we have it. Uh, join me in the next episode, and we'll take care of the Goblin Village. But uh, until then, I'm going to end this one here. Oh, man, we got undead coming. Okay. I hope we can handle that in our village. We're making stuff, so hopefully. We'll see. Anyway, again, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next episode. Until then, bye-bye.